Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ferry Mubarak from Nadatul Ulama University, and this is the video from the of the third moshi. And the third moshi is this host will improper is corruptor. As the closing government, I have to agree with this. And the reason why we have to improper the corruptors, like the opening government said, this is the one most effective way to deter corruptors is to make them poor by having as much as well they have. With the asset recovery approach, all access to a corrupt prisoner must be closed so that they, they are cannot deter. You cannot own a company, you cannot have a credit card for the corruptors of course and you cannot be a company leader and the most important you cannot join the political rights and everything but that it will be more uh, frustrating for the corruptor than the death penalty there are a lot of corruptors in our country and we cannot deny that and they are harming our country really really bad and by the impoverished the corruptors is only the corruptor that corrupt a lot of money a huge amount of money and the example is like the corruptor who take the money for our development country and this is really enough reason for the corruptor to get the improvised and the reason why corruptor have to be improvised is because of the lack of deterrent effects and also very less prison time as we know many corruptor after they corrupt they do it again because the less of jail time the lack of jail time something like that uh, because a lot of corruptor who corrupt with very large number of money only being punished in about two or three years we already can, can see it a lot of uh, in the media show it that a lot of people who corrupt to only get jail time two or three years when they are released from the prison they will commit corruption again so that the punishment of impoverishment is the most appropriate and the most effective way to make corruptors to not corrupting again and not only is the prison time very less but some of the corruptors don't even pay for this loss or for our country loss of course it is very detrimental to the country because what the corruptors have stolen is money from the country or even from the state if we take back or find or import the corruptors the money will be returned to the state to the country and will be distributed to people in need and the amount of corruption will be multiplied by 150 percent as stated by the opening government as, as said by the opening government earlier if the prison sentence or the jail time and fine are insufficient and do not deter the corruptor what punishment should we apply if only prison sentences are a lot of evidence that corruptors have been imprisoned after being released so after being released they do it a corruption again they commit corruption again there are also some who even after corruption can struggle or go holiday go abroad while they do not compensate the state money the money they take can be money that is benefited to people in need and if we back to talking about human rights corruptors have never talked about right from the another people from the start so this is really false as a opposition shape if we only punish one of the preparation of corruption a uh, corruptor i'm sorry and his family is not punished that is wrong why because all of family members certainly enjoy the result of the corruption and if we only punish the family members who are corrupt then the only one person will feel the detriment effect so we must apply so that uh, all family members or all members who enjoy the corruption money can get the detriment effect too 
and I think that's all for the Flossy government so in this case we have to agree that we have to impoverish the corruptors thank you wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh